going to learn about a line, the definitions of a line, line segment, and a ray. Um, so first off, uh, the, uh, the differences between a line, a line segment, and a ray. A line segment has two stopping points, um, and it's going to stop. Um, so I think about it like a, um, the, my driveway. It has a stopping point when I get to the top, and it stops when I get to the uh, bottom of my driveway. Um, a line is going to go in both directions, and it is non-stopping. It's going to keep going uh, in, on both, in both directions. An array, it can actually start on either direction. So a ray can come from any direction. So just like a ray of sunshine, it can start from this side, or it can start from this direction. It can start from left to right or right to left and come this direction. And this is also a ray that comes from the left to the right. So it is also a ray. So we don't know which direction a ray is going to go, but it is only going to come from one side and it is going to be non-stop and it's going to have one starting point and it is going to go in one direction and it is going to not it is going to be non-stop in that other direction um, so it's going to go without end in one direction um, so we're going to look at those two now we're going to discuss we're going to talk about today how we use those lines and how they these different types of lines interact with each other so what i want to look at after you look at those different types of lines is how these lines we see them and how we use them in everyday life so the first thing i think about when i see those different types of lines is i think about first is um, two different types of lines that i know i see every day is a railroad track so a railroad track has two of those lines that definitely they do have stopping points. So we just a lot of times don't see the stopping points. So for example, a railroad track, um, a lot of times can go this direction and this direction, and the lines come across straight down past each other. And these two types of lines that when they're going straight, when two lines are running straight along beside each other, they are going to be called parallel lines. So when they go parallel to when they're going path directly um, straight, when they're going with each other straight along, then they are parallel lines. And when we see this mark, the arrows on the top, we know they are lines that are going on with no endpoint. Now, when we see the lines that have, we can also see those as, uh, we can also see those, if you see the line segment, we can also have parallel lines that are line segments. So you would see those with an end point. They can also be parallel lines. Now, we can see also a, there's another type of line that we can look at. If it's not parallel, that means that I can, I notice this on railroad tracks. The lines that go across the railroad track, the, you can tell me what those are called. What are the lines that go across the railroad track? The little things that go between. The railroad ties. The ties, the, or the, the ones that go between. They're the ones that intersect to make our railroad track. So these ones that go in between the railroad tracks, those would be our intersecting ones. So when we see the lines that go, that. Sorry, that's a technical difficulty. Those ones that go that go back and forth in between the railroad track, those would be something that would intersect. So when we see an intersecting line, an intersecting line would come this way, and it would be a line that would intersect, and they would crisscross one another. Now, we can see a line that can crisscross this way, a line can crisscross at any point, and it can make a diagonal. So we can see it come here. As long as it crisscrosses another line, you can see it come any direction. So this is an intersecting line. Now, two other types of lines that we want to look at, which we've already looked at in our class, are horizontal 
and vertical, which we're just going to do a quick reminder of today. And everybody should already know this, that when we see a horizontal line, it's a reminder of the horizon. So when we see our horizon, uh, we've talked about this several times this year, we've talked about looking at the sunset. So if we see a horizontal line, it's going to come this way. This is a horizontal line. So I'm going to write that up there for you. Or, and this is really hard to write, so I'm going to send it to you. Horizontal. And we're going to have another line that goes this direction. Now, I bet you, you all know what this one is because this is going to go the other direction. It's not going to go the same way as the horizon. It's going to go up and down. So this one is going to be our vertical line. This is going to be a line that goes up and down. So there's lots of different ways that we can make lines. This one goes up and down is a vertical line. And this one is our horizontal line. And I definitely remember this one because look at that beginning word. So just reminder to you one more time. Just remember it because we can look at our horizon. And that word is right there is your clue to remember the one that goes across is your horizontal line. So remember the word horizon is in there. Okay. So now that we've looked at a little bit of our lines, this is pretty much what you're going to be doing in your pages 217 and 218. You're going to be identifying the line, the rays, the line segments, and you're going to be seeing which ones are vertical and horizontal lines. But you're also going to have to do one more thing today. You're going to have to do, um, you're going to have to look at an angle. And we've done this several times in morning math lessons. So when you look at, they're going to give you two different shapes that they want you to recognize today. And the first shape is a triangle. In a triangle, we have, obviously, you can see how many lines I just drew because I'm going to show you again. I drew one, two, three. So being that I drew three lines, they are lines without, they have stopping points. And the three stopping points are right here, two, three. So there's three stopping points. That also means that I'm going to have three angles. And we've done this several times. So right here are my three angles. Here is my angle. Sorry. And here's my other angle in my triangle. triangle, how many do you think I have in a, in a rectangle? I'm going to draw it now, so take a guess at what you think I'm going to have when I draw my rectangle. So in a rectangle, so let's number our lines. So I'm going to go around and number them. One, a stopping point because it's a solid figure and it doesn't it's not continuous if this is not a continuous line each one is a line segment now in this one we also have how we're going to see how many angles we have because it's a rectangle so in each corner here we have an angle here's our first one we have one angle Two, three, and four. So in this um, in this clip, all you're going to do is you're going to look at how many lines, and we're going to be counting the number of lines in some shapes, and whether they are line segments, lines, or rays, and how many angles you have in different shapes. So um, good luck. Work on page two, uh, 217 and 218, and we will talk about it if you have any questions later today.
Okay? 